guys welcome back to my channel today we are at a new thrift store I am at the MCC thrift store and this one is about an hour away from my house so I drove quite a bit and it just started snowing so I really hope it stops because I don't like driving in the snow but other than that I'm excited to go to the thrift store because it is the size of a Walmart it is ginormous there's a lot of stuff in there and yeah that's all I had to say. It's the size of Walmart, so I'm going to be here all day, all night, looking through everything in the store. I might go to a couple more thrift stores depending how long it takes me to go through this one and depending how good it is. So I don't know how the day is going to go, but we're going to do some thrifting. So let's head in. Let's go see what I find. And let's all cross our fingers. I find some fun pants today. So it looks like they actually have sales here. So 50% off orange and 75% off green. And this is a store. I told you, it is the size of a Walmart. Can I have this? No, it's display. Like, look at this. They have such cute decor here. I need, I need a cart. Carts are always good luck. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Walmart, they have Walmart carts here. Which cart do I want? Do I want to save on foods? Do I want a Canadian Tire or do I want a Walmart? Let's take a Walmart just because it's practically a Walmart. Oh, they even have a no-name card and they also have a Rona. This one's actually really big. This is a tempting card to choose. I've also, I used to work at Rona, so let's not grab that one. Bad memories there. Okay, so it looks like I can't try on any clothes. So I'm assuming you can't even put like a jacket on. So no trying on clothes today, but also look at my outfit. Oh, my shirt's kind of like weird, but Look at my outfit. I am a green popsicle today. This is a really, really cute jacket. I love this green, this olive green. It's $20 and it's from Danier. I think this is like their more expensive section or more their curated section right here. This macrame purse is really, really cute. I wonder if someone handmade this. That's adorable and it's only $5. Oh, uh, but I don't need any purses. So before we do any clothes today, I want to look through all the home decor, art, just everything home related first. And I was just walking over here and look at this stool I just found. It's one dollar and look at this. Are you kidding me? This cow print stool, 100% getting it. I kind of am really digging these. Like if you'd had a table to put on them, those would be so so cool or even this like this as a side table is awesome they also have this really cool vintage section where everything here is vintage Ooh, they have shells and stuff here they're so pretty look at these vintage glasses two dollars oh my goodness they're so adorable this one oh what the heck winnie the pooh for president I feel like I need this. Five dollars. I also need one of these candle things for one of the candles I just made. So, need to remember to find one of those today. Okay, I need to get out of here. There's way too much nice china here and I feel like I'm just gonna smoke a table like this soon with my cart and destroy everything. Ooh, look at these vintage sewing machines right here. This one even comes, you know, the full table and all. And then this one you put into a table. Ooh, there's some vintage thread here. We're in the home decor. Next, another section where I can just smoke my cart, hit a table and knock over everything. So I might just leave this here because this Walmart cart is ginormous. Ooh, these are cute. Those are pretty. This candle is beautiful. I don't, it probably works, right? But look at that. It looks like a giraffe candle and it's 50 cents put that in my cart whoa 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 the amount of animal print i'm finding today is incredible look at that look at that wow so i'm just gonna start on this side and then make my way to the end of the clothes down here so i'm just starting in the clothes right now and i really have no idea what to expect here i, I don't think i've ever gone through the clothes at the store so i found this vintage leather coat that is quite cute it's got a little bit of fur in the hood there and 
it is only six dollars oh i also forgot that certain colored tags are actually 50 percent off 75 percent off i'm really digging this one the zip up sweater it is so soft and cozy and it's only 350. i love this brown and just like the texture of this one so i think this is gonna be my first piece of clothes i'm gonna put in my cart i'm really digging this hand knit cardigan sweater here the only thing is i wish it actually had buttons here it doesn't but i really i really love this color i'm trying to add more color to my wardrobe Dang, that's a sick couch. I'm really, really digging that couch. So overall, I was very impressed with the furniture. The amount of furniture they had there is incredible. The amount of decor they had there was incredible. If you're looking for home decor and that kind of stuff, this is the place to go. But if you're looking for clothing, it's not the best. It wasn't the best. I ended up finding one item and it was actually 50% off. Three out of the four items I got were 50% off. So I spent $5 there. I've never, spent that little at a thrift store ever ever so that was exciting that i spent five dollars for a really good item so i'm excited it's a really good store i really like it i will definitely come back here but we're gonna go to a few other stores now just because i wasn't very impressed with the clothing section so we're gonna head to the salvation army next so we are here now and this one is one of my absolute favorite salvation army i just find this one is so adorable and cute so i'm gonna start in the shirts here first what is this Okay, I kind of really dig this. Also, it's yellow, and yellow tags are 50% off today, so this is $2. Everything is so nicely organized here, just by color, by size, just, it's just a dream going through the store, honestly. The only thing is that they don't have cards, so I'm having to like hold everything. Yeah, they have candles here and they have these beautiful green ones. Oh my goodness, I need to make some more twisted candles. Yeah, this one's chipped, but it should be fine. I'll get both of these. And the other ones, oh, these are kind of cool. These ones. <gasps> Why is there so many pretty candles here today? Oh, there's a dark green. There's a dark green. Mm, I kind of like the lime green more. This is so fancy, this candle. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look at these. Aren't these the most perfect candle holders ever? I think they're 25 cents. Okay, we're getting both of them. Do they fit? They're absolutely perfect, okay. Oh no, I'm running out of hands. Ooh, let's see if they have a basket. I found a safe weight cart. This is perfect. Honestly, perfect. Okay, last thrift store. We are at, I think, Bibles for Mission, something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure the name of it, but we're at the last thrift store. I was here on the weekend and I wasn't even looking through the clothes, I was just walking past the clothes and I found a pair of vintage Levi's for $1.50. I'm going to show you guys those at the end of the haul. We'll see if there's anything else good. I might have already scooped it all up, so I'm crossing my fingers. There's still some goodies here. Need a hot chocolate after this because I am freezing. I did not dress at all for negative five weather. Look at that. This store has the best deal yet. 50% off all clothing. This one actually has a thrift store cart, but I just noticed here they have a Zeller's cart. Does anybody remember Zeller's? Let me know down in the comments. There is a champion sweater here and it is 12 bucks, so that means it's only six dollars. That's pretty good. This store again has like a boutique section, so I guess more their ex 
expensive or more name brand clothes are put here. I just found the most perfect dresser for my bedroom, even though I already just bought a dresser, but I'm thinking about getting this one and maybe selling the other one I just bought. I don't know. Oh my goodness. It is, it's perfect. I'm just seeing if it, if it will fit in my car. I just got my tape measure. So let's, oh my gosh, I, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Here it is. It is absolutely perfect. I am gonna paint this, the wood here, but I just love this top. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I bought it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other vanity that I already have, but I got another one. It didn't fit. Mm, no. Oh no. So um, it's later in the day now, um, a lot later in the day. What, what do you want, Arlo? I'm, I have a lot of dogs in the car with me. Um, my mom's just pumping gas because she was very kind and she, she drove me out here with their truck so we could pick up the dresser. So the dresser is in the back of the truck now and now I'm bringing it home. I'm so thankful that she was able to drive like an hour <laughs> out here to, to come get it. So yeah, we're gonna head home, but I'm here with Benson there and then this is Arlo my parents dog so it's a lot later you can't really tell that it's dark outside because I'm in here filming but um it's very dark outside it is nighttime now and I am it I'm tired because I was driving for four hours a day I had to go there and back and then there and back to pick up this bad boy but it's here we got it here I'm excited just because there's a snowstorm coming soon so I'm glad I was able to get this before any snow hit the, the roads and the ground here, so. I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. I'm excited to do a fun thrift flip with it where I just like paint this wood down here and make it super pretty just because I'm in love with this marble top. So overall, I'm just, I'm very excited for this and it definitely was worth the four hour drive today. But I'll get into the dresser a bit later, but let's get into all the items that I found today. So I'm gonna start store by store. So we're gonna start at the first store, which was the MCC store. So the first item I got from the MCC store is this brown zip up here. I love it. I've been really into zip ups more than actual crew necks, and I know they're just more popular right now in 2021. So I am happy I was able to get another zip up just because I don't really have many zip ups and they're actually a lot more practical than a crew neck because then you don't have to pull it over your, you know, your head and ruin your hair and ruin your makeup and stuff. It's just way more practical and it can just go easier over things. So I got this one. It is super soft, it is cozy, it's brown. It's everything I really want in a piece of clothes. Clothes. A piece of, does that make sense? A piece of clothes? No, that doesn't. Everything I want in a garment. There we go. As for price, um, I think I spent five dollars total at that store. This one, it was three fifty, but because it was an orange tag, it was fifty percent off. So I got it for a dollar seventy five. This sweater. What the heck? I don't think I've ever gotten a piece of clothing for a a dollar seventy five before. I I don't even think a t-shirt. The next thing I have is this cow stool are you kidding me i this was the first thing i found in the store and i just couldn't believe it i most people would be like jenna why do you need a stool well i actually have this really ugly stool in my room here because in my closet here which you guys haven't seen but there's a lot of shelves and it goes really high so i actually need a stool to get on it or get on the stool so i can get my items way up there but I have this ugly Ikea plastic stool in here and it just gets in the way. But this one, it just folds up. It is, it is cute. It actually matches my room now. So um, I'm upgrading my ugly Ikea stool to this one and it can just kind of go in my closet. It's perfect. But the best thing about the stool was it was a dollar. Who priced this for a dollar? I don't know if that's just like the prices out there, like they're just that cheap, but I couldn't believe that I got this really quality stool for a dollar. <laughs> what the heck? I know I shouldn't be this excited about a stool, but um, I am. I'm really excited about this stool. Okay. So no more stool talk. I'm... Now that I said that, I feel like I shouldn't have I said that. Okay. No more talking about this, this thing here. 
I ended up getting this lampshade and it is this really cool beaded lampshade. It was in the vintage section. I went there again last year because I was like, hey, maybe there'll be something cool that I missed. So I went back, I saw this and I was like, this is so perfect because I have a lamp on my shelf over here that needs a lampshade. So I picked this one up. I thought it was really rad. I love all the beaded details on here and it actually fits perfect. This one was another one that was 50% off. Whoops. It had an orange tag, so it was 50% off. So this one was $4 regular, so I ended up getting it for $2. And my last item from the MCC is this giraffe cube candle. Like, look at this candle. Isn't this just amazing? I love it. Like, I'm just getting excited about the randomest things just because I'm really excited for just the look of it, I think this is just a beautiful candle and it's just gonna go perfect on my shelf over here in my room makeover. It just fits the aesthetic that I'm going for. So it's just so exciting finding pieces that are just like, you know, just gonna be perfect in your space or where, wherever, you know, or perfect in your wardrobe. It's just like very exciting. And what's even more exciting is that this one was also 50% off. It was an orange tag and it was regular 50 cents. So I ended up getting it for 25 cents like I I've, I've never been to a thrift store that sells things sell things I feel like I sell I sell Can't talk today. I feel like I said that weird, but I'm gonna try again. Okay, take two I have never been to a thrift store that sells things so cheap like for 25 cents That's that's crazy. You would never find anything around here for 25 cents. Now we're going to the next store, which was the Salvation Army. And the Salvation Army, I ended up getting a lot of candle stuff. I ended up getting these two candle holders. Ooh, look at these. These are, I got too excited. Didn't break it, away. These two are the cutest candle holders I've ever seen. And guess what? They were 25 cents each. What the heck? And then lastly, I ended up getting these three candles and were they 25 cents? I don't remember how much they were just because I was like, hey, if that's 25 cents. These are gonna be like one cent each. So I don't know how much they are, but I got these three green ones and these two green ones, I wanna do like the twisty candle thing that's all over TikTok and stuff. So I'm gonna do it with these two because I think that'd be a fun DIY. And then this one is like a square sparkly candle. So I'm gonna leave this one as is just because I think it's fun. Oh, that was not the last candle. And then I ended up getting this box of candles and it comes with five of these green candles because I actually do have some candle holders that aren't for like the skinny tapered, I tapered candles, is that what they're called, the skinny ones? They're actually for these ones and I found these green ones. And these were 75 cents for the whole, the whole box. And the last item I got from the Salvation Army is this Tommy Hilfiger skirt. I love this skirt. I think it's gonna be perfect, perfect for summer. It's It looks like a nice, <laughs> it looks like a very nice comfy skirt and it's from Tommy Hilfiger and I'm excited for it. This one was 50% off. They had yellow tags for 50% off. It was regular $4 and I ended up spending $2. But realistically, I would have been happy spending like $10 for this skirt. Like I didn't buy stuff because they were 50% off. I just I just like found out when I got up to the counter and they're like, oh, this is 50% off. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it wasn't cheap enough before. <laughs> they don't even need to do those sales because their stuff is already so cheap that you, there's not really a point where well, I guess there's some point, but 50 cents and 25 cents, like either way that I'm buying it. And then at the very last store, I end up getting this dresser here, which we've already talked about several times, but just wanted to show you more about the dresser. I'll show you more close-ups to it just because it's pretty cool inside. I showed you briefly in the store, but I want to show you closer up before I do any, you know, thrift flips and anything to it. I want to show you the before. 
Okay, so this is what the dresser looks like. You guys already saw this. It looks a little bit different in this lighting, but I would say it's more like a yellow brown than the like, kind of red brown, but that doesn't really matter. And then on the top, it's kind of like this rose marble. It's absolutely stunning, and this is what really got me to purchase this one. And then also just the shape of it. I love the shape of it just because when I open it up, there is tons of storage in here. So the first drawer, Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? This wall, or like, is it a wallpaper? I'm not really sure, but this pattern in here, like, look at that. That was a really nice surprise opening that drawer up. And then in here, we have these shelves, again, with the same kind of wallpaper in there. It is so incredible. I love the color there. And then on this one, it just has three, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the actual you know, wallpaper, whatever you wanna call that. I really wish they finished it here just because I absolutely love it. So maybe I might just take this out and do a fun, colorful wallpaper or whatever this is called throughout the whole thing so it all matches just because I love that idea of this. So I might take it off, unfortunately, but I might replace it with something more fun over here. So this is what it looks like. So tons of storage, and I'm definitely gonna be using this cabinet or vanity, whatever you wanna call it, for all my sewing stuff. I'm gonna be putting all my fabric in here, and I'm so, so excited about this. So I just took everything off of this dresser, cap, whatever you wanna call it, and I just wanna show you up close of the marble finish. Like, oh my goodness, it is so pretty. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it was also only $35 for this. But actually that's not all for today's haul because I actually have some items that I purchased on the weekend when I was there thrifting for this room and I found a few things that I wanna show you that weren't room related. I found a few. I found jeans and some fabric so I'm just gonna show you those before you know I say goodbye. I believe I only got two items that weren't home decor and furniture so I'm gonna show you these two items. So the first item I found was this amazing fabric. Look at this checkerboard fabric. Isn't this just like the most beautiful blue colors or blue, two blue colors? Cause it's like a light blue and then there's like this nice like denim kind of blue color. It's, it's beautiful this fabric. There's a meter and a half here and it was $3. And then lastly are the vintage Levi jeans that I found at the Bibles from Mission, Mission? I don't know what it's called, A, B, F, M. I, I keep getting it mixed up with it's Missions for Bible, Bibles for Mission, something like that. But um, I'll have it linked down below the store. And I ended up finding them for $1.50. So the same store where I found this dresser, I found these on the weekend for $1.50, these vintage Levi's. And this is how I knew it was a vintage pair of Levi's. By the tag right here, you can see it says made in Canada. That is how I know these are a pair of vintage Levi's. Well, that is it finally for today's search with me in Thrifthill. It's been a long day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's search with me. If you guys have a favorite item from today's haul, let me know down below in the comments and I just I just want to hear. I love hearing you guys' opinion of what you guys like the best because you guys always have different answers. So it's so interesting to hear you guys' thoughts about everything that I found today. But mine is definitely this this bad boy back here. But other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip. Um I'm I'm tired. I wanna go lay down on the couch and then go to bed. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day, morning, whatever you're watching this, great rest of your week. And I'll see you guys in my next video on Wednesday. Bye guys.